Hey guys, welcome to my second video on artificial insemination. Uh, right now we are going to do the actual inseminating portion. So as you can see, Big Marie is in full standing heat. She is completely locked in. I gave her a spray of the boar scent and that has really been a lifesaver and has helped uh, trigger her uh, standing cycle and really make her lock in tight and make it easier for me uh, to inseminate her. So first things first, I got to get on her. Um, some pigs, I guess you can breed them from the ground because they stand without the simulation, uh, which right now I am simulating a boar, which is stimulating her to really stand and lock in. So first things first, you have to clean the area. Certainly don't want to let any outside bacteria, bacteria or contaminants get in her. So I'm going to lift up her tail. And because she's so tall, uh, she makes this a little difficult. I really have to lean over here. Um, so first thing, just give her a good cleaning. And you can see uh, that she is, you know, arching her back. And you know that she's ready for this. So make sure it's nice and clean. Don't want to get any dirt in her vulva and her reproductive tract, cause any infections, anything like that. Then I have my spiral catheter, which I did not put any lube on. I don't need it. Uh, she is plenty lubed on her own. Important thing that you want to remember is you want to come up at an angle. So you can't really see because I'm coming from the, shooting this from the front, but I'm going in at like a 45 degree angle because that's where um her cervix is if you go in straight you actually can go into their bladder which is no good so i'm going in at an angle right now i'm just gently pushing because i'm using a spiral catheter uh you want to turn it and you are turning it counterclockwise to go in and you're just going to keep going until you feel like it has really stopped and depending on the pig um, and how you know long it, it gets until you get to their cervix you may have some I've, I've read with people that they don't have much of the tube sticking out so she feels like she's pretty locked in right there so I give it a tug it's not really going anywhere but I'm still just gonna push a little further and she would let me know if I was hurting her if I was going too far um, or if it was hurting her. So since she's not, you know, bucking or making any noise, I know that I'm still okay. So I really feel like I'm in there. So now I got my bottle. Last bottle, we got Kahuna here. Um, going to just break off the top. And then I want to just angle this up so I can put this into the end of the catheter. And I'm just going to start pumping. Not hard, but just giving it burst. You're basically priming the tube. And then you will feel her body and you'll be able to see. And there's really no way to explain this um, without doing it. But you will see that she's drawing it in. And now she's drawing it in and it's just going. I'm applying a light pressure to the bottle. So I'm not squeezing it really hard. Um, I'm just applying a steady pressure, which is just allowing her to suck it right up. And you can see she's not losing any out the back. She's taking it all in, which is great. No waste. I'm in the right spot. If you get to uh, the point with your bottle where you're like, I can't really squeeze it anymore, um, it, but there's still some in there, Take it off, kind of give it like a reverse suck and it sucks in air and then you can reapply and repeat. Now you want to make sure that you are breeding every 12 hours that they're in standing heat. So I gave her her first dose yesterday right after lunch. Um, so I actually came out at midnight and bred her last night with my husband. Um, which went really well. And then this is her last dose. So it is completely 
empty the bottle. Nothing in there. So it's going to remove it. And I'm just going to let this tube hang here for a minute just to let her finish doing her thing. And then you slowly want to take it back out. Counterclockwise in, clockwise out. You don't have to yank it. It's real nice and gentle. Her cervix will relax. The reason why this is the spiral is because I said in my previous video that um, their cervix is spiraled. So you lock in and then you can twist it to remove it and get it locked out. So that's basically the gist of it. Um, I have the bottle that's empty, my catheter's empty. Um, I, you know, spiral, screw it in counterclockwise in, make sure it's locked in, start to give it a pump to just prime it. Once you can feel that she's really starting to draw it in, you just wanna hold a constant but light pressure onto the bottle until you feel her and see it actually suck up the tube. And then I forgot to mention while it was happening, you're actually going to feel like a puff of air uh, right at the end of the bottle and that's when you know that it's out, uh, all of it, and then that's when you let it sit, kind of hang out her backside for a couple seconds and then you can start to pull the rod back out in a clockwise fashion. So we had no spillage, no loss, she took the whole bottle which is great, no waste, uh, means we were in the right spot. So. Thanks for watching and uh, I'm going to be doing a pregnancy check here in 30 days and hopefully it's good news.